Okay, so we're uh, up in Wodonga uh, visiting Dad, uh, who's in uh, an aged care establishment. Unfortunately, we can only see him uh, one person at a time for half an hour a day. Um, we got up yesterday, saw him for half an hour. Um, we've got another visit at four o'clock this afternoon. Um, so we've got a fair bit of time to kill and um, we're going from Wodonga out to Stanley, uh, Stanley Forest or Stanley Township and then into Stanley Forest. Uh, I did some uh, army work there back in 1977. Um, so with a bit of help some from my friends, um, I think we've worked out where our camp was. So we're going to head out there, have a look at Stanley, go out to the camp. Um, we've got a cock chook and uh, some coffee and uh, we'll see how we go. I'll take some photos. There's also a magic forest out there that I've never seen before but I noticed on the map. So we'll check out the magic forest. So this is the Beechworth Road heading out of uh, Wodonga. Up to the left there is uh, Mount Varanduda. There's a pretty good four-wheel drive track that follows the top of that. Uh, probably a little bit uh, muddy and slippery uh, as it's sort of been raining a bit last night and uh, just sprinkly now. But uh, all in all, it should be a good day. Just uh, coming into Beechworth. Having a little bit of a look around here. Should have the original Beechworth Bakery. And I believe it's up here on the left. It was. Cake shop. Beechworth Bakery, here it is on the left hand side here. Lots of um, cafes here, accommodation, this is the main street. Pretty busy for a Friday, but it be busier this weekend. All the balconies on the old hotels, the old buildings are pretty spectacular. We've got the REC garage here on the left, service station. Got some of the original cars in there. From Days gone by. Gotta stop for this lady. No, she doesn't want to be stopped. She's got a mind of her own. And she's going to do it. Like most women. <laughs> yeah, so. Look at a large mould in this town. So the population's probably. I was going to say what mould in there, she sounded like you said a large mould <coughs> in this town. Like a large moulded town, which is a town um, south of Bendigo. So we're heading out again now. And uh, we're on our way to Stanley. So Myrtleford's to the right and Stanley's straight ahead. Coming in Stanley now, I'd say that it's changed a fair bit since I was last here back in 1977. Nice trees. So back in the day, this is uh, where we got our water supply from uh, when we were doing our army camps. We used to come in here with a, uh, a water bladder uh, in the back of a trailer and um, of course we'd have to go to the hotel to fill up and uh, while we are waiting for it to fill up we'd make sure that the tap was on fairly slowly so we'd have a few spare beers. Too much here nowadays. Even looks like it's a pub's closed. Oh, here's the Sandy pub here. No, maybe it's not closed. So it 
might have turned into accommodation arrival. Um, oh, actually. So, this hours, Saturday, Sunday, dinner, Wednesday, Friday, bookings. So, it looks a little bit more flash than I remember it, but um, that's the Stanley Cup. And we're nine kilometres from Beechworth. So now we're going to head back to Europa Track and try and find a couple of places out in the uh, forest. So we're just coming off the road from Stanley to Beechworth and this is the Europa Gully Road that we're going down and we'll see where we're going. We're aiming for Fletcher's Dam first followed by the, uh, the Magic Forest and then Camp Elmo. So it looks a, like an old um, burial site. Charlie Gutha, age 18 years, killed here. Um, 19, 12th of the 9th, 1959. And uh, we're looking for Fletcher Dam, and from memory it's on the right hand side. I'd say they used the dam a fair bit for firefighting. And here we are, Fletcher's Dam on the right hand side. It's not the Oscar place. Just about camp here. That's a decent sort of light too. So we're actually stopping at uh, Fletcher's Dam for lunch. Quite a, a large dam. I wouldn't mind betting there's some uh, fish in there. Looks like um, people use it in summer for swimming. There's a rope swing there. Not so level here. But uh, out the back here, how's lunch going, Joe? Yeah, it's coming. Yep, that chicken looks good. So up the back here, we've got uh, an area where people have obviously camped before, campfire. Um, fairly level, actually. You could easily camp in here and uh, go back to the lake for a bit of a swim. So we've got our uh, hot water getting ready and our little uh, billy here. So this is actually a um, Kelly kettle. And my son Oscar for my birthday gave me an AeroPress uh, coffee machine that goes directly onto the cup. And uh, we're gonna have a couple of nice coffees. What do you reckon, Joey? Yum. This is living life mm. and having fun. We've just left Fletcher's Dam and we're heading down towards the Magic Forest. And we thought there'd be nobody else on this road, but um, obviously there is. There's a creek there. So we've come to the Magic Forest, we think. Uh, you can't get your car up here, but it looks like a fairly good walking track in. Oh yes, that looks nice. We've got lots of uh, green moss. Oh yes, this is it. Oh wow. Look at these trees. This is interesting. I wouldn't mind betting someone got married here.
Very nice. We've turned off Wooden Gate Road to Kelly Gate Elbow Road, which goes down here. And off that road, there's a small track to the left, which is taking us to Camp Elbow. Which is where I was back in 1977 doing my basic survey course with the Royal Australian Survey Corps. And it's funny how memories come flooding back in when you actually see familiar things that you've forgotten about. So back in the day we had um, a tin shed here, which was the original Kelly's camp, uh, and this clearing here. So we're actually not in the pine plantation. It's, uh, well, we're in the pine plantation, but we're, it's, there's no pine trees around. Um, there is, there's one. There's one there. There's one right there. Yep, that's one there. And in the old days we had tents, um, Lemby 11's up, we had kitchens, uh, we had fires, we had generators. It looks like people do a fair bit of camping here. And there's a fair bit of rubbish laying around, which is unfortunate. But uh, it's good that we've found it. We'll stop and have a look. So this is what's left of uh, Camp Elbow. We actually had our tents just under these trees here. Uh, fire in the same place, I think. Uh, we had fuel and trailers and cars parked over here. Um, there was a hut, but that's actually gone now. And that's it. A lot of rubbish here. It was a shame I, if I had more room in the cruiser, I'd actually uh, get rid of the rubbish. But it's definitely a place I'm going to come back to camp. Trees are nice. Very nice. Good memories. So you can see here they've actually uh, cut or harvested a lot of the pines. And then you've got uh, some newer ones. We've got the baby ones up along the ridge line. And you've got some mature ones here. I don't know, they're probably about I don't know, eight years old. So every time. Yeah, yeah so this has all actually been replanted in here. So pine trees in their various ages and states, looking down into the yak and the valley. So we're going up Mount Stanley Road, just passing Escarpment Road, uh, looking for Mount Stanley. Um, from the army days, survey days, I remember it was a pretty good uh, trig point on the top of the Mount Stanley. Uh, back then I think it was a water tank that had been cemented. And from what I remember, we're gonna get a good view, but just noticing now that it's becoming very foggy cloudy um, we probably won't see much but you can see a lot over there uh, the sun and that's probably the best view that we're going to get before we get to the top but uh, we're fairly high here it would have been a good uh, a good trick point to be doing some observations to in the early days
Okay, so we're just coming up to the top of Mount Stanley. I'm not sure where the trip point is. I'd say it'd be up here somewhere. Might just go for a bit of a walk. Just get me here. Okay, so to get to the trick point, you go on the eastern side of the TV towers, which are up there, which I don't think were there back in 77. Um, we just go straight up here. This probably would be the original track to the trick point. Parking area up here, we will park. And that'll do us, but obviously, good views across there. <laughs> so, we're uh, heading up, keeping outside of the fence to the TV tower, walking up to the trig point. There's a fairly good view out there. So this is the, uh, the trig point as I remember it. A water tank, I think it's been concreted. That's a, a pretty good view out there. Wouldn't mind betting that was the original rock can that would have been put here by the original surveyors. And here we have the more modern, if I get through here, the more modern trig site. And what you normally have is a Little trap door. Oh, God. A little trap door. And when you open the trap door, people have put some flowers in there. And somewhere down the bottom there is a nine centimetre brass plaque that has the number of the station. This is the top of Mount Stanley. We've even got our points here for putting our legs on. Make sure we get the legs in the right place every time we redo direct uh, bearings. But from here, I can't remember where we were looking, but somewhere out there we were looking for another trig station. Uh, and we're using a uh, wild field light. Yeah, good stuff. So luckily uh, somebody's already, already been through here with a chainsaw and uh, cleared a path for us. We don't want to go too close to the left there because it uh, drops down fairly steeply so um, hopefully there's no more on the way.